Yo, today is such a weird review. I have so many mixed feelings about this. Basically, I'm gonna review a product that I used to love, the WeatherTech lamp guards, and now I hate them. They're terrible. All right, find out when why. When I saw the price of how much replacement CLS, you know, headlamps are going for, I was kind of surprised. I got this WeatherTech lamp guard in the past for one of my Range Rovers that we used to go off-roading with. And those, those parts are really expensive too, so it made a lot of sense. And it prevented yellowing too. So I thought it was gonna be a no-brainer. But this isn't what it used to be. So these used to be four millimeters thick. And they used to, um, they used to be awesome. This is like, a film like you know like almost like a window tint maybe a little bit thicker than that i think the bag is actually thicker than this you know that's that's where we're at here and to be honest the old ones were a lot easier to install this one on the cls i feel like i need a heat gun and maybe a lot more experience so i kind of feel like i could have just brought this to a tent place and got it installed, plus, you know, some protection on my lights for about $100. This kit was like $60 shipped. I don't want to rag on you, WeatherTech. And this is sort of a weird review because um, I used to love this exact product. Not the one for the CLS, but, you know, it would be like, uh, like buying a new Rolex Submariner. It, you know, you kind of expect it to be the same in a lot of ways. This is completely different. This isn't four millimeters thick. And this is sort of useless to me. Um, you know, before the unique selling proposition was that this was thick. It could, you know, take a rock to the windshield. It, it would prevent impact. Um, this doesn't. So... That's my take on this. Now, maybe I'm wrong, maybe they're awesome, but, um, you know, I probably wouldn't go out and buy WeatherTech lamp guards for your new anything, really, but definitely not your new, like, Wrangler or something. Um, they're not the old school style, and, um, and, you know, unless they are, maybe you can get some old ones, then yeah, go ahead, get them. But in general, I feel like this product is sort of, like, become a question that no one's asked you know it's just now film um and it's not even cut that well you still have to trim it so why would i buy this and then pay someone to install this versus just getting some tint on my on my car lights you know going to a professional guy maybe asking them for just a tint darker or maybe like kind of like that cool blue reflective type thing um you know not not you know very very light application of it you know what i mean like because that's all you need is is that's this but it'll look better so again i can't recommend this for the cls and i would imagine moving forward i can't really recommend these at all